This is Mark Bell from SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. I'm back, represent with my gun hat. In case shit goes off, I can pop off. Anyway, we got a couple questions here to answer today for the Power Project, and we also got a cliffhanger question to leave you with, so I'll just leave it now before I forget about it. Who is the current record holder in the SPF, or I'm sorry, in the USPF? Got to get my PFs and Fs and federations and everything straight. Who's a current? Who is a current record holder in the USPF who has outbenched his squat? and his deadlift. That's your question, that's your homework, look it up. Anyway, uh, we got a couple questions to answer here today for the Power Project. One is about uh, working up on max effort day. And this guy's question is about board pressing, uh, and he said he wants to work up to a 585 board press, which, congratulations, that's a hell of a board press. That's a big weight. But I'm gonna put this out there to everybody in general. And we'll use, uh, in this case, we'll use the 585 to give this guy uh, a reference point. But also, I want some of you guys out there to use the same principles. Keep in mind that when you're warming up, you don't actually have to really warm up. You don't need to get a lot of blood uh, into the muscles. Um, you do, if it's cold, which here in California right now, it's like 9 billion degrees. I just worked out and nearly died. It was over 100 degrees inside the gym. That sucked. But at least I don't live in Alabama. <laughs> at least I don't have humidity to deal with. Um, but there's a couple things you're going to want to keep in mind. Your body has to get used to the exercise. And it has to get used to the weight. Nothing in there says anything about repetitions. I've actually seen studies that have shown people tear pecs uh, when utilizing repetition. When getting lactic acid into the area. Um, when trying to get like a pump and a warm-up, uh, you're more prone to injury in some cases. Uh, use your head though too and use your previous knowledge, use your previous feedback from your own body as a good reference point. Some people like to warm up their shoulders, some people do little doohickey deals with their shoulders with plates, which I think is really stupid um, because uh, doing this with like a five pound plate kind of neglects a lot of laws of uh, physics and gravity and things like that. But if you have a band that you can grab a hold of and you can do some of these guys, you do some band pull-aparts, maybe you do some overhead presses, maybe you do some lateral raises or some shit like that uh, to get the shoulders warmed up, get some blood flow in there. But you don't, need to, you don't need to do a lot of repetitions on the actual bench press itself. So get down there on the bench press, do the bar times a million, do that for a couple reps. Uh, the repetitions don't really matter. It's just the bar. Just move the thing around. I'd say 10 times sounds good. Uh, for your strength level, get 135 on there. Maybe do that about 8 to 10 times as well. 225 for 5 reps. 315 for 3 to 5 reps. Um, then start to utilize the boards. 405 for 1 off of boards. Um, 455 for 1 off boards. 500 for 1 off boards. 550 for one off boards and bam 585 something like that you can always work your way backwards is a good rule of thumb that I like to do so you take 585 let's say let's say 580 is your best so work your way backwards from uh, we, our goal for the day is to get a five pound PR we want to hit 585 right so let's work our way backwards a little bit let's start and say okay we know the end result to, for today is 585 before that, I'd like to hit 565. Before that, I'd like to hit 555, 545, something like that, 545. That'd be a good jump. So 545, 565, then 585. Before 545, uh, do 495. And then the previous list before that, they can be broken down into bigger jumps. Hopefully you're understanding where I'm coming from here. But your body needs to be used to the exercise and used to the weight. A lot of times in preparation for contests and in preparation for big weights in the gym, I'll get down and I'll uh, do the bar times 10. I'll do 135 for 3, 225 for 1, singles all the way up. Throw my shirt on, 705 for 1, 800 for 1, 850 for 1, or whatever the case is. Whatever it is I'm going for. And I do the same thing in the squat. Try to get towards uh, your goal quickly and efficiently and safely 
without wasting a lot of energy, without wasting a lot of time. So hopefully that helps you uh, understand what you're trying to do. Now also, make sure that the jumps aren't too big because if the jumps are too big, your central nervous system will not be ready to rock and roll the way that you need it to. And I hate to get too technical because I'm not a technician, I'm a lifter. <laughs> but at the same time, your body, basically in basic terms, your body needs to be ready for those big weights. Your body needs to be ready for these huge external loads and you need to kind of pre-program it to get used to those weights. So that's one way of looking at it. We got another question to answer about max effort work. And this one refers to getting fired up. There's a lot of information out there about getting fired up. Should you get fired up? Should you not get fired up? Should you not make any noise? Um, should you lift like you're in a church, like Arnold says? Um, how should it go down? What should, what should you be doing? Uh, Louis Simmons has recommended in the past that uh, you don't want to turn that on. You don't want to go to that because you want to save that for the competition. Well, in my opinion, you do what you got to do, man. Do what you have to do. I remember uh, in preparation for a contest one time, not in preparation for a contest, in getting ready for the last deadlift of a powerlifting meet, um, I, was trying to, uh, I was trying to break a record. Uh, well, a personal record, I should say. And uh, this was actually the last time I competed at 242. And I remember go in the back, I missed a lift, and I had to come back out, and, and I needed the lift to really reach the goals that I was after for the day. I paced back and forth, and I remember my boy, even back then, my boy, Jesse Burdick, I know you're out there, I know you're listening. Don't be cheap and don't say you're not listening. I know you're out there, buddy. My boy Jesse Burdick, he told me, find what you need to find and get out there and lift. <laughs> That's a, a, a simple, uh, simple statement, but he knew what I was doing, pacing back and forth. He knows I don't just normally pace back and forth for no reason. He knows if he goes out to eat wangs with me, that I'm not going to be out, I'm not going to be in the back. Uh, I'm not going to be in the back by the dumpster of Outback, pacing back and forth before I polish off 20 wings. <laughs> he knows that ain't normal for me. So he sees me pacing back and forth and he's like, this dude's in a crazy frame of mind. He's about ready to smash some big weights and he needs to find something on the inside, on the inside here and inside here. He needs to draw upon something. And if you need to do the same, then do it. Don't worry about the, well, don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about what people think. If you want to smash your head in a barbell because you think it's going to help you get a weight, then by all means, smash your head on a barbell. But at the same time, don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Don't do it for other people. Don't have this, uh, this external facade going on uh, that you're trying to show other people how intense you are, how, how tough you are, how cool you are. Make sure you're doing it for you. Make sure it's part of who you are. I remember seeing a lifter come to my gym before and this guy went absolutely nuts before he lifted. I thought to myself, what an asshole. But then the guy hit his lifts. Not only that, he came back to another meet and hit some more lifts. And then I thought to myself, you know what? This guy isn't an asshole. He's misunderstood. I don't understand where he's coming from a little bit because he's Karesi, but he's drawing upon something from within himself that he needs, that he needs for whatever reason. I've done that many times myself think about somebody you hate think about something that pisses you off think about something that drives you think about something that motivates you my brother passing away a couple years ago changed my life in a lot of different ways in some ways it's very hard to explain but for some of you out there you may know what I'm talking about some of you who've lost somebody um, I can draw upon that anytime I want and I feel like I can lift the freaking world when I think about that situation and when I think about the drive that my older brother had and when I think about the mission that he had and the things that he wanted to convey that he was unable to. So part of the Power Project, part of Super Training, part of Supertraining.tv, part of the slingshot carries on my brother's name and it's sending chills right through my body right now. Like I said, I can draw upon it any time 
and I can summon the strength of a thousand maniacs uh, when I think about that. So whatever it is for you, whether you think about, you know, someone shredded up your Barbie doll when you were uh, six years old, Burdick, <laughs> I know you love that Barbie doll. Don't even try to lie. And the Ken doll. I don't know why neither one of them ever had any clothes on, but anyway, that's another story for another day. I don't want to throw Burdick under the bus too much, too many times. He might actually die from it one of these days, even though he has a huge pumpkin head. But anyway, whatever it is that you need on your max effort day, don't worry about your central nervous system being fatigued. Don't worry about burning yourself out because you're getting too fired up, because you're getting too excited about lifting weights. That's what lifting weights is all about. That's what this shit's all about. This shit can be really, really boring. And that's why you guys are watching me right now, because you're bored out of your minds. Otherwise, you'd have a lot better things to do, wouldn't you? So anyway, draw upon whatever it is you need on max effort day. Use whatever you got to use. You got to use a belt. You got to use briefs. You got to turn the music up loud. You need someone to smack you upside your head. And then by all means do it. But at the same time, don't be an idiot. Make sure you're doing it for yourself. And that is it from supertraining.tv. Later.